It is getting cold down here. I got my coffee. All right, so today we're just gonna learn something simple and it's how to do a TV turn off and turn on effect in After Effects. Super easy, super simple, super quick. Let's jump right into it. All right, so we've just opened After Effects and you have your TV static clip here. And the first thing we're gonna do is hit S for scale. We're gonna unclick the chain, which just means that the X scale and the Y scale are not connected. We're going to click the stopwatch here and we're going to put both at zero to start off. So it's like our TV screen is off. Now go anywhere between five and 10 keyframes down. So let's see like one, two, three, four, five. And we're gonna put the X position or the X scale, sorry, at 100. And we're gonna put the Y at one. And then we're gonna go down about another five to 10 based on your preference on how fast you want the TV to turn on. And then we're gonna go and put the Y scale to 100. We're going to highlight and select our first two keyframes and then hit Shift F9 to make them easy ease in, which is just saying that when the TV screen turns on, it's just going to turn on in a exponential motion. It's gonna be smoother instead of a linear motion. That's what Easy Ease is doing. So then let's go further down in our clip here and let's find a good place to turn off our TV. So when we get there, let's keyframe our current scale, which they're both at 100. Go five or 10 keyframes down again and put the Y scale down to one. Go five or 10 more keyframes down and we are going to put this at zero and zero. Then what we're gonna do is select our N2 keyframes and hit Control or Command Shift F9 and that's gonna easy ease them out. So it's gonna make it smooth as the TV is turning off. Next, let's select the middle two keyframes and just hit F9 to make those easy ease keyframes. This is just gonna make the whole TV transition a little smoother. All right, so once this is done, as you can see here, we have our TV turning on and then we have our TV turning off. Now to make this effect a little bit more real, we're gonna add a few things. First, we're gonna come over and we're going to search for exposure. We're gonna come and drag that on our top clip here. So what we're gonna do is we're going to find the spot right before our TV turns on and we're going to Stopwatch the exposure. As the TV is turning on, we are going to put this up anywhere between two and four. It kind of depends on the clip you have. And then as soon as it gets to its last full frame, we're gonna put that back down to zero. And what this is imitating is just as the TV turns on, it's giving a lot of light and then it's kind of coming back to its original color here. So then you can come down to when the TV is about to turn off and we can do the same thing. We can put a keyframe on our exposure and then in somewhere in the middle, we can bump that up to about two and then towards the end, we can make it zero again. And then just kind of like we did, you can select the first two, hit Shift F9 Come to the last two, control shift F9, and then the middle two, you can actually leave linear. So now what we have is we have our TV turning on and it gets brighter and then it kind of fades out. Static, and then it gets brighter as it's turning off to nothing. Now there's still some things we can do to sell this effect here. And the first thing we're gonna do is duplicate our clip by hitting control or command D. We're gonna come down and we're actually going on our bottom clip here. We're gonna unclick the stopwatch and we're just gonna change the exposure to about two. Two or one, it, it's kind of up to you and we'll play with it here. After we have that, we are gonna come over and we're going to search for blur. And then under the blur and sharpen, you're going to click vector blur. Bring and drop that on. And with vector blur here, we're going to bump up the amount to anywhere between 200 and 400 ridge smoothness. You can add that ab, ab, ab. <laughs> you can drag that out. Map softness, you can drag this out to anywhere around like 30-ish. All right, we're gonna come back over into blur and we're gonna click fast box blur. Come and drag that on. And we're gonna bump this radius up 
and let's drag this so you can kind of see what this is doing. As we bring this blur radius up, it's changing the amount that our clip below here, so we're working with the bottom clip, is blurring onto or out of our top clip. Because if you notice, that's what our top clip is looking like, and so we're blurring the bottom clip here. So we can bump this out to whatever you feel is correct. And for iterations, I wouldn't go any more than five, um, just because it's going to take a lot of computer power. All right, so now as you can see is as it's going, we have this nice blur, and then we have it blurring as it's coming to the top of the screen here. Now last, what we can do is come over and search for glow and you can come and drag glow onto this bottom clip and glow is now just kinda kinda glow into those radius and we have what here is we have color A and color B so you can kinda manipulate if you want it to be more towards color A or color B and then I put it at about 20 you can increase the radius here and you can increase the threshold and increase the intensity if you want your glow to be more if you don't, you can lower these values so this isn't as bright as it's coming up, which may be what you would prefer. Anywho, that is the TV turn on effect. So if we were to watch our video play back now, bam, super easy, super simple, and super quick. I'm pretty sure I say the word super probably a lot but if you guys like that please check out some of my other tutorials and stay tuned for next week where i will have another after effects tutorial if you haven't check out my instagram where i'm posting some cool after effects visual effects that i've been working on and if you guys would like to learn those just leave a comment down below and i would be happy to show you peace